Microsoft 365 Copilot burst onto the scene with the promise of revolutionizing workplace productivity. An AI-powered add-on designed to automate repetitive tasks and streamline workflows, it seemed like a silver bullet for the modern knowledge worker. But before companies rush to adopt Copilot, a closer look reveals some potential pitfalls, particularly for those neglecting a crucial element organizational change management or OCM. This report delves into the potential negative return on investment or ROI of M365 Copilot, focusing on the impact of license cost, lost productivity during change and poor user adoption, all stemming from a lack of proper OCM implementation. The cost conundrum, counting pennies, losing pounds. M365 Copilot isn't a free ride. Currently priced at $30 per user per month, it adds a significant cost layer on top of existing Microsoft 365 subscriptions. While the features sound enticing, the question remains. Does the added value justify the added expense? Companies with large workforces face a hefty price tag, especially if they haven't considered the true cost of change. Here's where OCM comes in. A well-designed OCM program would factor in training costs, potential resistance to change, and the disruption to existing workflows. Without proper training, employees might struggle to adapt to Copilot, leading to decreased productivity and wasted licenses. Resistance due to a lack of communication or perceived job insecurity can further erode ROI. The adoption abyss when a shiny new tool gathers dust. Technology adoption is a fickle beast. Even the most groundbreaking tools can languish unused if not properly introduced. Here's where a lack of OCM creates a perfect storm for poor co-pilot adoption. Imagine this. Employees receive an email announcing the arrival of Copilot with a link to some basic online tutorials. They're left to navigate the new features on their own, unsure of how Copilot integrates with their existing workflows or if it truly benefits them. Confusion breeds frustration and soon Copilot becomes another unused icon on the desktop, a silent testament to a failed implementation. OCM bridges this gap by actively engaging employees, understanding their needs and concerns and providing tailored training, companies can foster a sense of ownership and excitement around Copilot. User champions can be identified within teams to answer questions and provide peer-to-peer -peer support. Communication channels can be established to address concerns and gather feedback. All this creates an environment conducive to adoption, maximizing the potential benefits of Copilot. The opportunity trap missing the forest for the trees. Copilot's value proposition lies in its ability to automate tasks and free up employee time for more strategic endeavors. However, a focus solely on replacing human effort with AI can backfire. Without a well-defined OCM strategy, companies might fall into the trap of simply automating existing workflows without considering the bigger picture. This can lead to a missed opportunity to reskill and upskill employees for higher value tasks. OCM encourages a holistic approach. By involving employees in the change process, companies can identify areas where Copilot can truly augment human capabilities. This could involve tasks that are repetitive but require a human touch, or freeing up time for creative problem solving and collaboration. OCM helps companies leverage Copilot not just to replace effort, but to unlock a new level of human potential. The OCM advantage mitigating risks, maximizing value. A robust OCM program acts as a bridge between the promise of Copilot and the reality of its implementation. It identifies potential roadblocks, fosters user adoption, and minimizes disruption. Here are some key OCM strategies for a successful co-pilot deployment.
Change communication. Clearly articulate the value proposition of Copilot, addressing employee concerns and highlighting potential benefits. Targeted training. Provide user-friendly training materials tailored to different roles and skill levels. Executive sponsorship. Gain buy-in from leadership to ensure resources and commitment throughout the change process. User feedback. Establish channels for employees to express concerns, ask questions, and provide feedback to inform continuous improvement. Change champions. Identify and empower employees who can act as champions. Building the business case beyond the hype. A successful OCM program starts with a clear understanding of the desired outcomes. Before diving headfirst into Copilot, companies should conduct a thorough cost-benefit analysis. This analysis should consider not just the licensing cost, but also the potential impact on productivity, training and support needs. Here are some key considerations for building a strong business case for Copilot. Identify target users. Not every employee will benefit equally from Copilot. Targeting users who perform repetitive tasks or spend a significant amount of time on administrative work will yield the highest return. Quantify productivity gains. Evaluate the potential time savings Copilot can offer for specific tasks. Translate these time savings into concrete benefits, such as increased output or the ability to take on new projects. Factor in training costs. Develop a realistic estimate of the resources required to train employees on Copilot. This includes the cost of trainers, materials and lost productivity during training hours. Consider long-term support. Copilot is a constantly evolving tool. Factor in the cost of ongoing support, including refresher training and troubleshooting assistance. By building a data-driven business case, companies can move beyond the hype and make a well-informed decision about whether Copilot aligns with their strategic goals and financial constraints. The human factor. Navigating resistance and fostering buy-in. Change, even positive change, can be met with resistance. Employees might fear job insecurity, be overwhelmed by the prospect of learning a new tool or simply dislike the disruption to their established workflows. OCM plays a crucial role in addressing these concerns and fostering buy-in. Here are some strategies to navigate resistance and encourage user adoption. Transparency and communication. Keep employees informed throughout the entire change process. Explain the rationale behind Copilot's implementation and address concerns head on. Focus on benefits. Highlight the concrete benefits Copilot will offer to employees, such as reduced workload, increased efficiency, and the ability to focus on more strategic tasks. Address skills. Gaps. Identify any skills gaps that might hinder adoption and provide training to equip employees with the necessary knowledge and confidence to use Copilot effectively. Empowerment and choice. Whenever possible, give employees a sense of control over the change process. Allow them to experiment with Copilot at their own pace and provide opportunities for feedback. By creating a sense of ownership and demonstrating how Copilot can benefit them personally and professionally, companies can turn hesitant users into enthusiastic champions. Building bridges. Integrating Copilot with existing workflows. One of the biggest challenges of implementing any new technology is ensuring it integrates seamlessly with existing workflows. Copilot is no exception. A poorly integrated tool can create confusion and frustration, leading to decreased productivity and ultimately abandonment. OCM helps bridge the gap between the new and the old. Here are some strategies to ensure a smooth integration of Copilot. Workflow mapping. 
Analyze existing workflows to identify areas where Copilot can automate tasks or streamline processes. Customization options. Explore Copilot's customization options to tailor the tool to specific workflows and team needs. Change management champions. Identify employees who are familiar with existing workflows and empower them to champion the integration of Copilot. Ongoing support. Provide ongoing support to help employees troubleshoot integration issues and ensure Copilot functions seamlessly within their existing environment. By taking the time to understand and integrate Copilot with existing workflows, companies can avoid the pitfalls of disruption and maximize the tool's potential to enhance productivity. The road to success. Measuring impact and continuous improvement. A successful OCM program doesn't end with implementation. It's crucial to measure the impact of Copilot and continuously improve the change process for future initiatives. Here are some key strategies for measuring and improving. Define success metrics. Determine clear metrics to track the success of Copilot implementation. This could include measures of user adoption, productivity gains, or task completion times. Gather feedback. Continuously gather feedback from employees through surveys, interviews, and focus groups. Use this feedback to identify areas for improvement and refine training materials or support resources. Track ROI. Monitor the cost of Copilot implementation and use metrics to calculate the return on investment. This will help demonstrate the value of OCM and inform future technology adoption decisions. By establishing a culture of continuous improvement and data-driven decision-making, companies can ensure that Copilot delivers on its promise of increased efficiency and a more productive workforce.